What's up my friends and my new friends, I'm Jared Laredo and welcome to my channel. Today we will be reviewing Dragon Ball Super episodes 37 and 38. Now I was unable to review episode 37 last week due to a few interferences, but we will be covering both 37 and 38 right now. In episode 37 of Dragon Ball Super, we're going to make it as short, straight to the point as possible. It was just amazing seeing Vegeta train Kabe to be able to control or turn into a Super Saiyan and control those powers. It, definitely one of the best fights I have ever seen within Dragon Ball Super so far. Vegeta versus Kabe. Just Kabe being able to pick up and transform into a Super Saiyan like that so fast was astonishing. But he couldn't have done it without the motivation from and the cruelty vegeta was so cruel you know but he wouldn't have been able to do it most likely without the motivation and uh cruelty from uh vegeta so that's pretty much episode 37 now dragon ball super episode 38 we finally got to see hit this episode was amazing just to see how Hit just kicked his ass. You know, like, Vegeta didn't stand a chance. I don't know, maybe if he remained more calm and controlled his powers, he would have been able to do something against Hit. But Hit was observing the whole fight between Vegeta and Kabe and Vegeta and Frost to learn his moveset. So pro this is probably why uh, Vegeta was taken out so fast. And then Goku, you know, Hit was monitoring that fight from Goku versus Potamo and Goku versus Frost, but Goku didn't reveal his Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan or Super Saiyan Blue uh, powers, transformation. He didn't fully reveal all of his powers. So he definitely, uh, Vegeta lost against Hit, okay? And he was basically KO'd unconscious as a Super Saiyan Blue. So Goku doesn't even turn into a Super Saiyan Blue and he fights Hit head on. They all, well, Goku didn't go all out, but he's learned some moves from Hit and how to counter them. And he didn't even transform into a Super Saiyan Blue. So most likely, a from what we saw of the episode 39 preview, Goku is going to transform and he's going to kick Hit's ass, but Hit is going to be furious with Goku and maybe Goku might lose. I don't know, but I think this tournament is going to go to Universe 7 because they still have Manaka and maybe Goku is just in there to wear Hit down so that Manaka can take out Hit and then maybe Hit will get completely raged and and pissed off that he lost the tournament and he'll turn he'll go rogue and turn into a uh, evil guy and tries to steal the super dragon balls or something I don't know but this episode was just as good as last week's episode I've like I've been waiting to see some action of, from hit and th it was just such a badass incredible fight and I cannot wait till Dragon Ball Super episode 39. So overall, I'd give this video, or this freaking, this uh, episode at like a 10 out of 10, you know? It was amazing just to see Goku not needing to transform into a Super Saiyan Blue to take on Hit, you know? So Goku, just as his base form, he can take on Hit. So maybe if he turns into a Super Saiyan Blue, he'll be able to just annihilate Hit. But I bet Hit is hiding a transformation somewhere. You know, I bet he can transform, maybe grow some hair, turn into mirror. I don't know. This is all just like a theory, you know. Uh, I'm kind of hoping for it, but all in good time. We'll see what happens. Um, there's definitely going to be some enemy, and we'll find out who it is in the coming months. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, animation's definitely a lot it's improving it's a lot better so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys enjoyed the commentary and be sure to look out for more of my videos to come for dragon ball super and uh i've got 
I, I've got so many videos coming, it's just they take so long to create and with a game like Dark Souls 3, an RPG just in front of your face, you know, you gotta play it and you gotta beat it and you gotta do these Dragon Ball Super videos. So I'm trying my best here to put these videos out for you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Please keep living life to its fullest every single day. Live positive and enjoy life. Thank you so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter. Turn mobile notifications on after subscribing to my YouTube channel to know when my next Dragon Ball video is going to go up or any of my uploads. And just thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I really appreciate it. And peace.